Most devices can be modular. A desktop PC is only a collection of components after all, which can be swapped out and upgraded based on what you need, and Google and others have been working on how to bring the same level of customization to the smartphone. But with smartwatches emerging as a tech category, the newly formed Blocks team sees no reason why these devices can't benefit from being modular as well. It's actually in the process of creating such a device, so in this video, I'm taking a look at the very, very first modular smartwatch, which is also called Blocks. Now, it's easy to grasp the potential of a modular wearable. If you want insane battery life, for example, you can turn the whole band into a secondary power source. But that's only the beginning. You could add so much to a wearable device that would make it useful for virtually every circumstance. For instance, if you wanted a lot of fitness tracking, you could add a gyroscope, an accelerometer, a heart rate monitor, and a blood oxygen sensor. Or if you were like wanting to go on lots of hikes, you could pair it with a GPS module with one packing an altimeter, a thermometer, and a barometer. There's there's just so many possibilities that you could get from this wearable, and basically, it's anything that third-party module makers can dream up. Now, software is obviously a big part of the equation, and while a platform for blocks is being developed in-house, the team is currently experimenting with Android Wear. One key benefit for Google's OS is for different screen shapes. The plan is for blocks to have several display options, including round, square, and band-like faces with OLED and e-ink variants. The display modules will run the rest of the show, each accommodating a processor and other necessities like a Bluetooth chip and the primary battery. Obviously, different things will be more expensive than others, so you'll need to look at basically what each component costs when you are making a mod for this smartwatch. But with that said, you know, Blux is a lot to refine, but it really could be a cool device when it does come out. A basic package with all the functionality of your standard smartwatch will probably be in the $200 $250 range, which is actually pretty reasonable, especially when you're comparing it to other smartwatches, and a premium tier with additional modules will probably be slightly pricier, obviously, probably around $300 $350, and what I'm hoping is you can just buy individual mods on their own and then swap it out on your own. That, that would be a really, really cool idea. Now, there's always the chance of thinking too big, and blocks could make this too complicated, in which case most people just wouldn't even know how to work it, but I think that this is an ambitious undertaking that has a lot of potential, and I think hopefully that we'll be seeing more ideas like this in the future. Let me know what you think of the Block smartwatch in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and you're excited for this device, and I will see you next time. Bye!